Hey guys, I just got this new riding mower uh, to replace my old Craftsman that just kept breaking down. Uh, John Deere S100, just got it this year. I've only mowed with it three times now. Uh, this is the third time. So it's got uh, 2.6 hours on it right now. Um, I love that, that digital gauge up there. It's, it'll be great to remind me when to do maintenance. Um, but one of the annoying things that uh, about this new mower is it's got this uh, push button to reverse with the blades on. So while you're mowing, if the blades are still engaged, you have to press this before you go into reverse or else it'll cut the tractor off. Um, that's kind of annoying when you have a bunch of tight spots in the yard where you're constantly having to back up. I've got tight spots in that corner of the yard, um, in all of the corners really around the stairs, around the pool, around the fire pit. Um, so it's, 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 quite annoying to always have to push that press you have to turn halfway around in your seat to look behind you when you're backing up and having to do this and do the steering wheel at the same time is again annoying and inconvenient i get the safety aspect of the push button um if you got a bunch of small children around or animals or whatnot uh, my my children are grown and my animals are smart enough to get out of the way so i'm not worried about uh not having this safety here um take you know consider your risks yourself if you don't want to bypass yours obviously don't if you don't want to take the risk of uh getting someone hurt or whatever but i'm going to show you how to bypass that to speed up your job a little bit and one less thing to have to deal with while you're mowing so if you go underneath the dashboard um you'll see there's two wires in here this is the the back side of the switch let's see if we can get you up in there yep so that's the back side of the switch there there's two wires that i cut right there those two wires just go down your wiring harness okay and when you press that button all you're doing is completing the circuit so basically in order to keep the button pressed all the time all you got to do is tie those two wires together so i cut them right there i spliced them together here using this quick connect uh, this is a spring-loaded quick connect um i like the spring-loaded one because it with vibration it's not going to come loose on me like a wire nut might um, if you do use a wire nut to connect your two wires together, just put some tape on there or something so the vibration of the mower won't make it rattle loose. But uh, I've mowed with it three times now with this bypassed and had no issues whatsoever. Everything operates normally with that bypassed all the time. It just makes it so that you don't have to press that button when you're backing up with the blades on. So I hope this helps some people. Um, again, if you're, if you're not willing to accept a little bit of extra risk, um, obviously leave it OEM. Uh, or if you're worried worried about your warranty or something like that, but I have no problem bypassing it It makes my job a little bit quicker here um, And uh, that's it. So hope this helped you guys take care